Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Mer. Hello everyone, I am the press Gordon Freeman. Yeah, and we are in the mental health care and water hospital. Well, you might ask why it's underwater. It's because if a patient would try to escape, he would most likely drown. Uh, Mr. Freeman, please put the weapons away. There are no head crabs here. There are no zombies here. Take your anti-stress pill. Okay, if you really want to. And we'll go have a walk. Yes, it's a part of your therapy. Please follow me. Okay, I'll follow you. This way. By the way, I hope you are absolutely fine with your accommodation. Yeah, I'm ex absolutely fine. Even though I don't have anything to eat. But who cares, I'm depressed. I can eat by my depression. Uh, just out of curiosity, how many times have you had since your debut in Half-Life 1? Which was more than 10 years ago. Well, I don't have money, so... The, I, I'm so poor, you have no idea. Uh, yes, because you are still waiting for the job and Half -Life in Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's a game, and you know, gaming is really related to my life, as no you probably doubt. know. Uh, just out of curiosity, what made you uh, to become a physicist? Well, I uh, started playing StarCraft 1 when I was three years old, and uh, with that I started to believe that Protoss and Zerg actually exist, and why did they say believe? It's true, Protoss and Zerg exist, yeah. So, yeah, they exist, and I had an imaginary friend which wasn't really imaginary, he was a Dark Templar. Unfortunately, I'd never seen him before, I have no idea why. And he, he was a good friend, even though every time I tried to hug him, well, I went to the hospital. I have no idea why. You know why? Well, I suppose that's because Dark Templars do 50 damage per swing. Well, I had, I had like 100 HP maybe. Where yes, are we going? I believe uh, in all the Half-Life games, downstairs please. In all okay. Half-Life games, your character always had 100 points. Please, That's fine. Uh, Dr. Freeman, what did you do with the therapy uh, card? Ah, yes, there it is. Please put it on your on your rail and prepare for the therapy ride. Starting Three. Sorry for the interruption. We have a minor situation. Dr. Freeman, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, oh, oh, okay. I will come breathe. around eventually. Breathe. Now go back to your therapy card. Why would I do that? I can kill you when we are, I want. We are going for a ride and we will talk, okay? Okay, if you really want to, so. Okay. We'll start thinking. Three, two, one, mark. Okay, so where were we, Dr. Freeman? Uh, we were about your uh, gaming experience with StarCraft. Can you uh, continue? Well, I really liked playing Protoss and Zerg, but my favorite race was actually hybrids. They were so cool, and I liked the way they burped while eating uh, puppies and oh. cows. And is StarCraft the only reason why, why you became a physicist? Well, because I like trains, and yeah, that, that was really my intention, to become a physics. Oh, yeah, probably specifically in Black Mesa, because there are a lot of transit trains. Yeah, and chickens, of fun. course. And what about pies? Don't I love worry, pies. Mr. Freeman, there will be a pie in the end of the therapy ride. And will there be cake? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Just let's continue. Uh, with your story, uh, at the school, uh, did some major trauma occur to you? Well, I discovered, I found out that I was actually a male and uh, 
my son was actually a girl and it was so traumatic to me uh, and basically my dark templar friend you know that uh, hugging guy well uh -huh. he he wasn't really a friend he was just a pony oh, yeah. <laughs> a pony <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was so sad <laughs> Okay, Dr. Freeman, calm down, calm down, put the laser rifle away. Oh, okay, if you really want There are to. no headcrabs here, there are no zombies here, we talked about it. Okay, if you Take really want to. Take a look around, if you don't believe me, you will see. There's a zombie there. Oh, there's a zombie, there's a zombie, there's no, a chicken zombie. No, 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 no. That's, that's just, that was just a plain chicken. Put the laser rifle away, please. And that was just a cow. There's okay. no need to worry. And uh, who's that guy in front of me? That's me, Dr. Freeman, your therapist. You forgot. Oh. Who are you? Oh, God, I'm, I'm, so, the, I'm so depressed. Okay, I'm so depressed. Take another pill, and we'll continue. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. here. Okay, good, good, good. Um... Uh, do you remember anything uh, from what happened between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2? Because that part of your story is still a big secret to us. Well, I became so freaking fat because I was eating a lot of pies and bananas. Because actually, I have to reveal you this. I'm a banana. And... Yeah, and I actually eat these pills, these pills uh, on fire and they make me feel better but my pony friend eats them too and when he eats them he goes on fire too and starts crying and dying but yeah banana banana okay is the g-man related to this in any way he's actually my wife oh really yeah He's a girl. Yeah, he's a girl. You know, that sounds strange, but actually I saw him uh, under his underwear and yeah, that was a big surprise to me. Wow, that's shocking. And you're a girl too, if you didn't know that. Okay, Dr. Freeman, to be clear here, I'm your therapist and I yeah. am the one who decides my gender, okay? Why? Not to mention that we are talking about you. You're, the need, you're in the need of therapy. Hey, 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 there's a... Whoa, look at all these zombies. There are no zombies here, Dr. Freeman. Look, they are all pink zombies. Those are pink. Oh, no, they are zombies. I can see them. Look, there are zombies hey, everywhere. Dr. Freeman, maybe you should clean your oh, glasses. God. How? Look at this? Just, that's not, uh, that's not for cleaning glasses, just, just let's continue. Okay, do you have any other question for me? Uh, because I'm, you know, yes. I'm depressed. Since you got hired in Black Mesa, uh, did you find a friend there? Yeah, I found a friend, his name is Puji Woogie, and he's a good friend of mine. He speaks 75 languages. Uh, and those 25, 75 languages also include Murloc and uh, uh, my language, which is Hab Um Yeah, those languages. He is a really good guy. And he's also a Pi. And, and that is a really good friend of mine. Okay, and your relationship with the security ga guard Barney Calhoun and Dr. Isaac Kleiner and Dr. Wenz? Well, those girls are actually quite terrible. Uh, when I... So I'm making a note that we'll also need uh, another therapist regarding sexuality. But never mind that, let's continue. Okay. Uh, well, where are, where are we actually? I have no idea where, where we are. No worries, we are heading towards your relaxation zone. Which is? Which is just uh, like half kilometer away only. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Don't worry, we are almost there. And since the cataclysmic event, 
what, oh. what actually oh. made you to uh, become armed? Hey. Uh, well, uh, I don't really like pies and trains and snow, and that made that made me mad so many times and pony. That, that, that's all I can say, actually. But wait, wait, where are we? Are we in the relation, uh, relaxation yeah, center? Yeah, yeah, please continue this way. Here, please continue this way. Okay. Is this place familiar to you? This looks like my house in Italy. Because I have uh, an house in Italy too, because I'm so freaking rich here in India. But I'm depressed because. No. Okay, the part of your therapy to make you feel better is to get you into your uh, own environment you are familiar with. So, you will stay here for a couple of weeks. There will be some supervision to ensure that you are taking your okay. antidepressive pills and such. So, please make oh. your... Hey, wait, this is my computer. This is my computer. As you can see, it says there should be a computer. Very good. Oh. So. Oh. And this chest is empty. Oh my god. This is my room. Because so, go take a nap, Dr. Freeman. And we will continue next time, okay? Okay. Uh, um. Goodbye, Dr. Freeman. Goodbye.